your weather authority forecast with meteorologist Ron Young. Welcome back, everybody. Looking at Texarkana, New Holland, Skycam, and we're trying to see a few breaks in the clouds here as the sun goes down. And we had quite a bit of rain across the area, but it was torrential here just earlier. Looking right now, a perfect example of a little outflow boundary that we're seeing right in here. Behind it, some showers and thunderstorms getting down pretty close to Natchitoches and over towards Winfield and a few more that are just now moving south of Shreveport. So <clears throat> that's going to be the end of this one, but it looks like our chances of rain are going to be even better tomorrow, especially across the I-20 corridor and farther south. So we'll share with everybody heat advisories and warnings. In the purple, you see the heat warnings, excessive heat warnings. For parts of northeast Texas, southwest Arkansas, and much of northwest Louisiana, in the orange are the heat advisories. Those will expire at 8 o'clock tonight. Uh, the orange covers most of deep east Texas and part of northwest Louisiana, and three counties either side of the interstate up towards Hope, and that is going to be it. Tomorrow, Probably cooler temperatures, but we will go back into heat advisories as we go into tomorrow night into Tuesday. As far as the afternoon high temperature since midnight, made it up to 99 in Shreveport again today, but 102 in Texarkana, 101 in Natchitoches, 98 as we go into Mansfield, 97 in Idabel, and going to Mount Pleasant, 97 degrees as well. No doubt, yes. It's another hot day. Wind speeds aren't all that high right now. Uh, currently, no wind in Marshall, no wind in the Minden area, nor Natchitoches. Six miles an hour in Shreveport, three in Manny, five in Texarkana, and in Mansfield. So not much of a breeze going on out there, but we did have some peak winds since midnight. 31 mile an hour gust, 33, that was in Texarkana, 33 in Dequeen. 36 mile an hour gust, and I have a feeling that was right during the thunderstorms because we had some wind out there, believe me. 26 mile an hour peak winds as we go over to the Minden area. And here is our stationary front. Everything developed and started moving to the south, southwest. It is dying out now, but we will see more developing, especially along and south of I-20. And that's going to be tomorrow. In the meantime, tracking the tropics, here is barrel and 130 mile per hour winds. And that is going to be a major hurricane and it's headed right for the Caribbean. And we will be watching this very closely. 130 mile an hour winds. Wow. Yes, second name storm. And there may be another one coming right behind barrel as well. Robert's Toyota Futurecast, cloudy skies, they'll hang on, and we will see some showers and thunderstorms during tomorrow, especially in the southern half of the Arklatex as we go into 7 p.m. on Tuesday, or 7 a.m. that is. We will have mostly cloudy skies again. We should see a couple of little showers, maybe on Tuesday. I'll give it a 10%, but that's it. We will see some sunshine on your Tuesday into your Wednesday at 7 a.m., and here comes our next system, Wednesday, 7 p.m., and it slowly makes its way towards the Arklatex. It could affect us by later Thursday into your Friday and maybe even Saturday. How much total rainfall will we get? As we go all the way through Thursday, we're going to get 7 tenths as we go to center. Quarter inch here in Shreveport, 13 one hundredths into Queen. Quarter inch and six tenths of an inch as we go into Natchitoches. So here is the seven day forecast and tomorrow I'm giving it a 40% chance, especially in the southern half of the Arklatex. That is a moderate impact, 79 and 96 due to the rain, 76 and 99. We're going to be either side of 80 degrees and either side of 100 degrees as we go all the way into your next Friday with another 30% chance and a 30% chance on your Saturday, knocking those temperatures back just a bit. And we will be back right after this.